Hello you, it's Josh here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Happening Point video today. Today is a video that has been, you know, something that we've needed to do for a very, very, very long time, even though it's quite boring and it's finishing up little bits and bobs, adding some things in and basically just adding some coronavirus stuff in, which obviously, you know, has been needed to be done for quite a while right here. So today we got an absolute ton of these little screens that you can see to the right, 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 right here at the entrance, you know, on every single ride and stuff like that which tells people stuff like you know the coronavirus information parking stuff like that wait times information about rides and stuff like that they're all around the park switching around adding some lovely coronavirus spots as you can see right here and also um basically just finishing up some little bits that you know uh we're basically not finished like the Malibu was my dash we added some nice custom spot into that added some catwalks uh and also of course we added in a couple little uh what do you call it I got And here we are in another time lapse, people. And today we're going to be starting out by doing some very, very exciting chain link fences here. Yay! Now it's a thousand degrees here in the UK right now, so my brain isn't quite working, which means this, you know, uh, voiceover is going to be extremely funny. <laughs> So if I say anything stupid or wrong here, just ignore me. I'm just very, very hot at the moment because it is a thousand billion degrees. But as you can see right there, we've made that little shop space there uh, for the next shop right here, which is going to be Willix's Waffles. Uh, and then what we're going to work on here next is this little storage shed right here because, right, like I said in the last episode, I really didn't like how this storage shed turned out. Uh, I don't know what it was about it. It just kind of made me think mm, whenever I looked at it. So I thought, eh, well, we'll try another one right here. So I went for a bit more of a basic sort of, you know, standard design right here. But in the end, I kind of like it to be honest. And uh, what I decided is I'm kind of gonna, I'm gonna be kind of using this sort of design all over the park here, uh, and kind of, you know, obviously mixing it. And you can see it with like the uh, ladder blocks and stuff like that to make it work a little bit better in the theme and stuff like that. But I mean, honestly, for these little storage rooms right here, they would be quite basic rooms. I mean, if you're gonna be completely honest, they probably would just have a concrete box right here in many cases if you can't see it. But, you know, I think this is a good, you know, substitute right here. Just this little, like, wooden box right here with a nice grass roof. And then the, bit of the, the little building blocks in front of it. Now, what I decided I wanted to do here was I actually wanted to add a little switch track right here. Because, obviously, it didn't make much sense. Originally, the entire t turn right here, so, you know, the two turns right here, would move to the right uh, to, like, the, you know, straight track come in. But because of how I did the queue right here and because of space constraints, that wouldn't really work. So what I actually came up with here is why don't we just do a, tra a track that just rotates around right here, as you can see. So the way that it works is that half of this corner right here is attached to one central pole, which would be twisted with a motor, as you can see right there in the shed. And then basically that, uh, that half of that corner right there would be rotated around 90 degrees into the ditch, which you can see right there. And then the straight track would be moved into there, uh, uh, moved into there by a 90 degree angle. So it would go straight into that storage shed, which I think, you know, it's quite nice. And I mean, you see a lot of switch tracks in the game, but you don't really see many of these sort of switch tracks. So, I, you know, it's nice to have something a little bit more unique and a little bit more different than other people right here, because obviously, you know, it's a lot different than what a lot of other people will have done right here and stuff like that. So I'm very happy with how it came out. For some reason, the footage is playing again. <laughs> oh, the, foot the footage is for some reason playing again right here. <laughs> so if you did get to see that storage tank good enough the first time, then here you go, guys. Here it is again. <laughs> I don't know what's happened here. I mean, like, um, when I actually added to this video together, some of the footage was kind of messed up because this video was supposed to be for something else, and then we did changed it last minute to another type of video right here. So I guess some parts here are a little bit messed up, but I guess here we go. We get to watch it again. Woo! Uh, I mean, I could cut it out, but I mean, you know, why cut it out when you can watch the exact same footage again? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what went wrong right there, but oh well, you can see now I can talk a little bit more. We have this end stop right here, some buttons here, this garage door. I might actually make the garage door move up and down. Right now, it just kind of sits there and doesn't actually do anything, but I might eventually make it so that it actually moves up right here. I have no clue. I I, I, I don't know. I've not really decided right there, but you know, we, again, we're doing this little rotation track right here. We've obviously got a ladder coming out of here. Uh, we've all just got it bricks all the way around it, but you can see here, yeah, they've got this central pole right here. And then there's two smaller poles which connect to that central pole, which then those smaller poles connect to the tracks, 
which I think, as far as I can tell from looking at some pictures, is how this would actually work right here. Uh, I don't know, fingers crossed, maybe, who knows. I mean, it looks like it works, and looks are good enough for me. Uh, I also realised that we hadn't got uh, any custom supporting on this last bit of track right here going into the station, so we also chucked that in right there. And then once we're done with that there, we got uh, going on a bit of uh, footers right here, because something that I did realise is that all of these footers hadn't actually been done on the coaster. Now, I didn't really know what to exactly do right here, but in the end, I decided to do some, like, sort of, um, block uh, ones right here. A lot of it was done off camera here because I forgot to record. But for the diagonal ones, we've got these like blocky ones. And then for the flat ones, we've got those circular ones right there because I think they just look a little bit better, especially on like the paths and stuff like that. And then what we're doing here is we're getting a nice little catwalk in right here. You can see we've got this lovely catwalk going by this here. And it looks so ugly. Um, but at the same time, I love this to pieces because it looks so ugly. Not because it's built bad, but just because it's realistic. And I just love the idea that in real life uh, they didn't want to put one here, but then so whatever, then you know the go uh, the, the 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 you know, I don't know people who make the rules where when no 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 you can't do that now, <laughs> and and they just had to install a horrible catwalk here last minute, which is just ugly as hell and ruins the sight lines if it boosting on that boost right there. And I just love it in every single way. I think it turned out really beautifully, uh, really beautiful there. And then now you can see here, I'm very much struggling to try and get this uh, banking done right here. Because, well, um, to put it shortly, I'm, I'm, bad, I'm, bad at, I'm bad at roller coasters. But in the end, I actually really like how this turned out here. I redid these, uh, the, the, a couple of these S-Bends right here, which were extremely bad. And in the end, I really like how they came out. Except from this little bit there, you can see I was just fine angling around with that a little bit there. Um, and, uh, you know, except from that, I think it all looks quite nice. Now, something that I have just realised as we're watching me do all these gates right here for the station, I never actually did any TV... Oh, these are spoilers right here. This is some spoilers for the next video right here, guys. Ooh. Uh, but no, I, I, I never did the actual control area for that room. And I also want to do some custom CCTV that actually goes from the cameras. I'm going to be installing cameras on this ride and on, um, and on Blair. Um... To make it a, a, to, to, so that you know that it actually has proper uh, CCTV and it all makes sense. Um, but right now, I think you know uh, we can do that in another episode, can't we? I mean, to be honest, in a little, in like uh, you know, in about five episodes or so, we'll probably have another one of these episodes where we just clean up stupid mistakes that I've left here. Because even after this episode, there is a ton of stupid mistakes that I've left. For example, that right there. Uh, I, I try to think of other ones. Uh, well, I want to do all these. Uh, uh, actual rest uh, these little shop interiors as well. That'd be nice to do. I need to finish this entire fence going all the way around 13 um, Trying to think what else uh, I, I don't know. There's, there's probably a bunch more things there that need fixing right here Which just have absolutely just been left there. So, you know, I, I feel like it's a good idea to do these maybe every 10 episodes or so Just these cleaning up episodes where we just go through add a couple things But mainly clean up some uh, problems that we've had right here now you can see right here, we're also building a storage shed for Blair right here, which honestly, um, that little cover that we've got before, uh, on that break room right there, the first one, I think I'm actually going to get rid of because it kind of feels a bit weird and by itself. And now we've got this storage shed right here. There's not really much point to have a cover because the original idea is that's where they store it when it's raining or whatever. But now that we've got an actual storage shed here, then what's the point in having that cover right there except for I guess it looks nice? I don't, I don't know. But, um... I mean, this coaster only runs on two trains, really, at the moment, anyway. So, I could make it technically, quite, you know, in quotation marks, run it on three trains, even though it won't actually run on three trains. But have one of the trains in storage. Like, how in Mal Malibu is my dash, what I've done is I've actually uh, put two trains um, on to... I, I, it only runs one train on the track, but I put one in the storage shed to make it kind of seem like it had run a third, a, a, a second one. But they're just not using it because it's not very busy or something like that, even though they obviously... The train, because of the game, how the game works, cannot actually have a second train right there, obviously. See, so yeah, uh, now that we're making this design for this uh, little, what do you call it, this little sign, uh, what do you call it, Th these little screens right here, that we're going to be put a chucking around the park, an absolute ton right here. And obviously, if you just, as you've just seen, we've chucked down these social distancing spots right here, all over the place. We've chucked them in front of the shops, we've chucked them in any queues, like this queue right here to get your tickets, and outside the willow tree, stuff like that, we had, you know, at the entrance as well, where the security is. We've got a bunch of uh, social distancing spots, just because obviously it makes sense to actually have them right there. And then, you know, we're just chucking in all these screens. You can see I've chucked most of them in, in this entrance area right here. But what I also wanted to do is I wanted to add some bus, uh, the, the, something to the bus stop right here. Now, at the moment, 
And these are sequins like all the rest of them where they have the welcome signs and whatever that sort of crap. But I actually, in the uh, in the future, maybe in the next episode or whatever, I actually want to change these to uh, other theme park Tiger 2 parks that are like, like you know, little, um, little advertisements for other theme parks right here. So, uh, you know, guys, if you've got any good theme parks by any YouTubers, you know, I've already got a couple in mind, but if you have any good, you know, YouTubers that we could showcase right here, especially ones that are, you know, aren't very well known, but have really cool parks right here, uh, then please, you know, comment down below, leave a comment and tell me what you, you know, want to see right here. Uh, especially if you, you know, if you have a park yourself, say, hey, look, I have a park and I'll contact your Discord if, uh, you know. If uh, if I think you have a good park and we I, I could get a photo, you can have a little advertisement in here, which I think will be quite cool. But now you can see we're moving on from actually building to doing some decals right here. Now this was quite a big section right here. I mean we did like an hour and a half worth of decal making right here, and that's because we had to make a lot of decals because well you know we we obviously had to make a lot of decals for the screens. Um, for example, for Blair we had to make two separate images. For Malibu's Man Dash, we need to make two separate images for these screens. And then we also needed to make like the coronavirus screen, the parking screen, the welcome screen. And they were all custom made as well, obviously. You, you'll see, or if you ever see this in the game right here, you'll see that actually the uh, information sc uh, screens for the ride are super detailed. And they have like literally loads and loads of detail onto them. And as you can see right here, for example, like, you know, I'm writing all about how you can do stuff right here. Most people won't even realize this. Most people won't even realize the screens change or read what's on them. But it's about that nice little detail that really matters right here. And you can see, you know, now we're going to start getting this one in for Blair. We obviously have a wait time right here. Now, I might in, in the future actually experiment around with having this change. Like maybe have the, um, have this like, uh, sign here be randomized. And maybe have it sometimes say it's like 125, maybe sometimes say a little bit lower or something like that. But for now, I'm probably going to keep it the same. And honestly, in the future, I might keep it the same as well. For one reason, I want to have screens around the park once all the rides are done that say what time, what, you know, the wait times for everything is. But we can't really do that if it's changing. It's going to be a bit of a pain to work out. But I don't know. I'll decide. Uh, but you can see right here, we're making this logo for Malibu's Mad Dash, which, by the way, I think really looks nice. At the start, I wasn't sure about the green font that we had right here. You know, this, like, very, free, uh, you know, freehand font right here. But, um... In the end, I actually really like how it turns out. And I think it's quite a nice little logo right here. Uh, and it works quite well, you know. It kind of has a sort of childish vibe to it with the, you know, the very um, hand-drawn sort of writing right there and stuff like that. I think it looks really nice. And it looks really nice with Malibu's nice, lovely uh, new logo right there. Which, by the way, we do need to still upload. I mean, we still need to change the um, Malabuma logo at the front of the uh, uh, Malabuma's Meadows area, which I will do eventually, but I just haven't got round to. And you can see right here, we also have this lovely um, sort of information screen. Now, I actually took, as you get, well, you can see here from a, I think a Six Flags uh, sign or whatever here, I don't know. Um, and basically drew over it with, uh, you know, by myself. Obviously, I don't have a tablet, so it's not brilliant, but it's best as it can be, really, you know. And then chucked it in here, and I think this looks really, really nice. It's these, like, little custom signs. And, I mean, I've seen people do these signs before, but I don't think I've ever seen them put this much detail into them. Um, like, you know, making the custom little signs right there, putting all this text right here. Like, you know, it rambles on about loads and loads of stuff right here, which most people will not realize and most people will not see. But you can see, yeah, we're now getting those, uh, that lovely Malibu Meadow signing right there. And we're finally getting in this screen right here. You can see we're just going to sit here for a little bit. Because long story short, I forgot to rotate all the images around here, which you could see we're going to just do that right now. And also design our next shop right here, which, as you can tell from the title, kind of, you know, where the, obviously the title is um, screens, ice creams, and um, finishing things. Uh, because it rhymes and it's funny. Uh, and, well, although, you know, it's actually a waffle place right here. Waffles have ice cream on them. So, hey, <laughs> you know, and waffles doesn't rhyme with screens or finishing things. So, uh... <laughs> But no, yeah, you can see the next stop, uh, the next store right here is going to be Willix waffle, Willix's waffles. Which, to be honest, uh, after I went through all the list, this one just made sense. And I, you know, Willix is now part of the Mason, so I thought it'd be nice to include him in the park right here, you know, uh, with a nice little thing. Especially seeing as I did steal this screen idea from him. Like, you know, this idea of putting screens around the park is very, very much, uh, very heavily inspired by his. Uh, park that he's been doing so I thought it's the least we can do right here to include a nice little, little, little Willix's waffle store right here, you know um, 
And I think it honestly turns out really well. I feel I really like the whole uh, theme of it and all that sort of stuff. But it's several like guys, we're coming to the end of the episode. Here's all the lovely Twitter, Discord server boosters, Twitch subscribers, and patrons. Come over Patreon at patreon.com slash cozy today. Or you can, you know, boost the server at Discord or check out my Twitch and become Twitch subscriber. But it's several like guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like and subscribe. It very, very much helps out the channel. You know, we're, 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 we're the channel's tremendously growing right now. So, you know, support me by, you know, leaving a like and subscribing and all that sort of stuff. But it's several like guys. Enjoy your day. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you on another video. Bye bye.